Norwood kicked off its tribute to its fallen heroes on Saturday. The community gathered at the corner of East Hoyle and Washington Street, which holds dedication to Navy Seaman James Sansone, to dedicate Norwood's first tribute to its Vietnam veterans. Director of Veteran Services Ted Mulvihill explains not only the significance of this bench, but also its location. It was a great day and a historic day in the town of Norwood. We dedicated a Vietnam Veterans Memorial Bench inscribed with nine names of Norwood men who lost their lives in sacrifice in support of our nation's freedoms during the Vietnam War. It's been long overdue. Norwood has a long and proud tradition of recognizing their veteran services. The Norwood Town Hall is dedicated to Civil War and World War I soldiers. The Civic and the airport are dedicated to World War II soldiers. The Korean bench up at the post office for Korean War veterans and now Vietnam veterans finally have their recognition and as I said it's long overdue. This corner of East Hoyle and Washington has always been the memorial corner for Navy Seaman Jimmy Sansone. I've been wearing Jimmy Sansone's wrist bracelet for 49 years. Jimmy sadly is missing in action. He was lost at sea. So the nine names on the memorial are, have equal amounts of sacrifice and are due honor equally. But when they built this park, we got a grant to build it, I said it was the perfect place to recognize all of our Vietnam veterans and Node who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And so we did it right here. And now this corner will be called Norwood's Vietnam Veterans Memorial Corner at the James Sansone Memorial. Norwood resident and former U.S. Marine Stephen Esco shares his thoughts on the dedication. It's, as Teddy said, it was a, a long time coming for the town of Norwood. Uh, I, myself, uh, my family, my wife and I celebrating 40 years here in Norwood. And uh, I'm, I'm elated to see that this memorial took place. We're here to remember those veterans that made the ultimate sacrifice for our country and to preserve our freedoms that we enjoy. We, we just don't ever want to forget those who made that ultimate sacrifice. And those that are still missing are prisoners of war. Um, you know, we can only hope that we find remains and, and, and bring them back home here. The keynote speaker of the day, Tom Lyons, a Vietnam veteran and former Marine himself, spoke of service, sacrifice, and remembrance, and that it's never too late to honor a vet. The important thing is that it was done. It, it doesn't matter how, you know, all, all those years later. But I think most importantly, it's going to be a permanent reminder uh, to generations of the service and sacrifice that was given from the young men of Norwood. For many of us, um, you know, the welcome home wasn't exactly what we wanted. Uh, but all these years later, I like to think that uh, the way we welcome our young men and women coming home from these last two wars was the direct result of what didn't happen when Vietnam veterans came home. Such a touching tribute to the lives lost protecting their country during the Vietnam War. Thank you to those who served and continue to serve. Continuing to honor our fallen heroes, Nord held its first in-person Memorial Day observances at Highland Cemetery on Monday. As always, Ted Mulvihill emceed the event and hosted a lineup of speeches, proclamations, and music to honor those who died fighting for the United States. To watch the full Memorial Day ceremonies and Vietnam Veteran Corner dedication, watch the NCM Community Channel or anytime on demand at norwoodcommunitymedia.org.